Hello again, uh, back again with some more on Webspiration just to follow up on the part one of this uh, series. wanted to give you a little bit more and this time uh, we opened or I opened a uh, document that I have growing from one of my students in my technology class. Uh, so I wanted to show you a few more things a little further down the line development of a, of a graphic organizer. So this has to do with network uh, and workstation terms and so as you can see we have the main idea here and then our two main uh, sub-ideas, hardware and software, and then off of software, you have things like operating systems and then all the details down there. Uh, one of the other th handy things that you can do with uh, Webspiration, like you can with Inspiration, is add notes to any of your objects. And so, for example, software, when you click on software, you see in the upper right you have a little note icon. And when I click on it, a little sticky note is going to appear. And what I had the guys do in this case was actually drop in a definition for what they thought software was or what the lecture notes were all about. And that comes in handy especially because when you swing over to the out, outline view, what you'll see for software is that the any of the notes that you had added will automatically be added right underneath the uh, term right there in the outline. So the same is true for all of the objects in my outline and in my diagram that have notes added. And you can tell over on the left hand side next to that object that there's a note added. So you could collapse all your notes if you wanted to save some room in your outline uh, or swing back over to diagram view. And any of the objects that you click on when you see the little guy up here in the upper right corner that means that there's a note attached to that particular object. So that's particularly handy in this case. Uh, some other options that you have in the online version here is the ability to either open or create a new document you can also show the revision history if you're collaborating with other students on a project. You need the document info. You can download it to your local version of Inspiration or as a Word document, certainly the outline or transfer to Google Docs. And that's, that would be the outline view to and not the, uh, the diagram. Under edit, you have cut, copy, and paste. You also have paste external text if you wanted to add things to notes fields or copy the page URL and then do you know inserting graphics if you wanted to upload. Uh, an image file to replace one of the default shapes, clip art shapes, or insert it from a URL if you found it somewhere online. Under the uh, symbol menu, you can automatically scale or organize your um, your outlines uh, and show some of the changes there. You can also make some different effects like send it back or bring the front if you were layering objects together. And then certainly some templates and sharing options as we talked about last time. One of the particularly handy uh, additions <clears throat> as of this fall in 2010 was the ability to submit your work to someone via email. So all you would need to do is click on that and punch in their email address and then also send a message. So this would be handy if you wanted to, your students to submit their finished work to you without having to print a copy. And if you were a teacher and you got submitted work and you wanted to return work, you could send work with comments back to students. Um, you can also publish via web page or unpublish or show the published URL uh, of this particular document. Grab this URL and send it either via email or make it a blog post or something similar to that. And then you have the ability to create collaboration groups or quick groups based on users that are either working on this document or in your, uh, your list of, uh, of contacts. So then over on the right, a couple more features here too. Again, once you have people invited to collaborate on a document, you have the ability to do instant messaging or chatting over here on the right side panel. Same thing with commenting, that you'll see all the comments that any users would add to this particular diagram. And then collaborate, where you can invite and manage the sharing of this particular document and then see and track the, the revisions to that particular document. So lots of very helpful tools, especially for working online and getting students to work together on projects. Uh, so give Webspiration a try for your next graphic organizer, brainstorming, concept mapping, pre-reading or writing activity with your students. Have fun.